hello. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm Carol Klingsmith, and yes, you are watching Healthy Living. If you've seen our last couple shows, you know that we started a new series called Beauty on a Budget. So today, we're talking about sitting. And I can sit at my computer for hours. I love to research. I love to see about health. Um, I like to see family and friends on Facebook. And one of the worst things we can do is sitting. And I know, maybe you're not a computer person, but maybe you quilt, maybe you sew, maybe you do crossword puzzles. Whatever it is that you spend time like this, forward for a long period of time, or just sitting, watching TV, they say now that actually sitting is worse for your health than cigarette smoking. Ugh. And health is what gets us beauty, remember? So good skin, good hair comes from being healthy. So our chair, unfortunately, is our very worst enemy. So I'm going to give you a really, it might not be easy because habits are not easy to break, but it's a simple challenge. And if you want to take it, it's something that you can do. So why don't you want to sit? Let's address that first. So sitting for long periods of time, you can lose your muscle mass, especially in the upper legs. And that's something that I tend to see is what puts people in a nursing home. They can't get down and up out of a chair. They lose their muscle mass. So that's not a good thing. Um, you can lose your range of motion. If your arms are always in this position forward, pretty soon you may not be able to comb your hair. So you lose that range of motion. You might not be able to turn and back your car out of your driveway. Um, when the head goes forward, all kinds of things happen. Headaches, respiratory things. Remember, all these nerves that come from the cervical spine, this curved part of your spine in your neck, connect to all the organs in your body. When you're forward and sitting in a chair, um, you can't breathe as well, your lungs can't expand, you can't get oxygen, so you could have respiratory issues constipation from sitting for long periods of time and then not drinking water and not having a, enough fiber in your diet. Maybe even osteoporosis because your bones need some, they need to walk. They need some tension, weight strength training or walking, something that gives them a little bit of, of impact. And we, I don't, well, maybe your sit bones might get some impact here, but that's about all. So the chair is really not our best friend. So here's my challenge. You, if you have a phone that has an alarm on it, you can set your alarm for every hour. If you don't have a phone that has an alarm, no excuse, get a kitchen alarm, set your stove, do whatever, set your alarm for 60 minutes. Now, I'm giving you a whole 60 minutes to sit. So you may be watching a movie, you may be doing your computer, you may be doing your quilting, whatever it is. After 60 minutes, you're going to get up. Okay, and you're gonna get up and you're going to just move. You're gonna be active for a whole minute. So one minute, and you can set your timer for that one minute if you'd like, or you can watch a clock. But you might wanna just go in the kitchen. Now, I'm not sure that I would say go eat every hour. <laughs> you might be telling me that isn't helping your health at all. But you could go get a drink of water in case you're not drinking enough water. You could um, just go in and have a healthy snack or just walk around. If you're in the middle of watching a movie and you don't want to interrupt it and go in there, then just walking in front of your television set. Now, I'd like to encourage you, don't walk in place. That can make you really sore hip sockets, that area. So just walk forward for four and back for four. Now, unless you have a reason to walk like the Tin Man from The Wizard of Oz, I want you to make your walk really cool. Instead of the Tin Man, I want you to think of John Travolta. Just that little head bob. And the reason is I want you to be relaxed. It might feel kind of weird at first, but nobody's really watching you, hopefully, in your living room. And you want those muscles to be relaxed and feel good. And you know what? I bet for some of you, you'll be able to go for more than a minute. But now that's every hour. So if you do that every hour, you have to set that alarm. That's what you have to remember. That's where the habit comes in. If you do that for the 12 hours that you're awake, that's at least 12 minutes of exercise. If you decide, oh, this isn't too bad, I can do two minutes, that's, that's 24 minutes of exercise. And you do that every day, and it, it doesn't have to be even like exercise, it's just moving, it's just moving your body. Your body is made to move, your muscles, your joints. Your joints need to be lubricated so that you've got range of motion and you can move them. So that's my challenge to you. 
Remember, you have to set an alarm, and it might take a little while to get it. I struggle with it. One other hint that I do if you use a computer, find something in your house. I have an old wooden ice box, and I sit my computer up there. So it's about this height, and then I have to walk up and stand when I use it. And I can stand quite a long time now, but at least it keeps me from sitting. So sitting is what's hard on the body. So sitting is what we want to try to put a break in there. And sometimes we don't even realize that we're sitting for three or four hours until we look at the clock and it's like, oh my gosh, I've been here this long because we just get involved. So just set that alarm, one minute, two minutes, one to five minutes. Let me challenge you there, but just start with one minute. Make it something that you're going to accomplish. Okay, so that today is our tip for beauty on a budget. Now you can't get any less expensive than that, unless you have to go out and buy a phone or buy a timer. But we thank you for watching Healthy Living and for watching CVTV. This is Carol saying, see you next time.